Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we are at my buddy Dean's SoCal Classic Car Storage, finally with our friend Kyle. So 68 Chevelle, my senior year of high school, my grandpa and I were looking for a Chevelle for me because I wanted a muscle car. It was hard to find and we finally got one uh, almost 20 years ago today. Drove it home, bought it off a guy in Whittier. My grandpa gave me a thousand bucks. Next weekend I put disc brakes on. Um, I know you'll appreciate that. Yep, yep, um, yep. And then, you know, just me as an 18 year old and my buddies that liked cars, we just kind of went from there. You know, my mom hated it. My dad dug it. Yeah. Um, the neighbors hated it, but you know, three in the morning, putting new headers on or the whole front end off for months in the driveway, you, you yeah. name it, we did it. So this car, when I bought it, it was cool. It was like a sob of cosmic blue, 350 maybe. Uh, who knows, it had a turbo 350, it worked, it ran fine. Yeah. But you know, I didn't have money then, so I did what I could. So this has gone through a lot of changes over the years, 20 years with the car, you can imagine. Um, sure, the, one of the coolest things that I did with this car is I actually built this motor back in 2004. Um, I took a machine shop class at Saddleback Junior College. So I got this block out of an 81 RV, four volt main, rusted together. We, I probably hot tanked it 20 times, cleaned it, and then I did all the machine work. I balanced it, I blueprinted it. And it, it's a 383. 383, yeah. The compression was like 945 to one, so it probably made a little over 400 horsepower, okay. which, you know, 20 years ago was a lot. No doubt about but it. But nowadays it's, you know, Hondas have it. Right. So <laughs> with that being said, when uh, before my son was born, I uh, decided, I said, screw it, and put it on my credit card. I, I opted for the Pro Charger. I put everything on. I redid the fuel system, all the lines. I kind of learned what you had to do. Most people think you just put a supercharger on, but that's not the case. So you pro charge it. Now, what does that bump you to horsepower? I, you know, probably between six and 650. Okay. So, you know, good 50% running at eight pounds of boost, intercooled. So mild boost to where you're not gonna do damage yeah. to the engine. Mm -hmm. And then with the other stuff that you were just mentioning, like transmission, rear end, all that's been yeah. changed. 4L80, well. 12 bolt, all UMI tubular suspension, coilovers, chassis braces, whatever I could get on there mm -hmm. to kind of make it feel better. Harnesses, it's always something, you know, upgrades here, upgrades there. I just did a new trunk kit. Okay. Which makes the trunk kit look really cool and clean because of my fuel cells in there. But I made this paint color. Did you really? Yeah, I mixed you it. You mixed the color yourself? Yeah, yeah. Bitchin', because it's a great color. Really cool. Now, the brakes you were saying you did from Z06, is Yeah, it? so these are the SLC 56 brakes, and I think they're like uh, Z06 brakes from okay. like the older, maybe the C6. Okay. So it has C6 spindles, C7 hubs. You know, I got those at CPP, and mm -hmm. it, just, it just rides better, and mm -hmm. it stops, so that's good. And, you know, the back has, has its disc brakes as well. What are the wheels on here? The Riddler wheels, the Riddler 650s. I like the stance too. I like the, I mean, they're, it's slammed, but I like that it's got, it, it kind of takes me back to like when I was a kid, the, the, the stink bug stance, yeah. you know, where it kind of sits up yep. a little higher in back. I have cutouts, they're off right now, but I have cutouts to make it even louder, but my ears are starting to bug. Me, so. Wait, so when you were, that's when you just were moving exhaust. it around, that's, oh wow, yeah. so it's going to be really loud with oh, yeah, the cutouts yeah, yeah. open. Yeah, that's why I say it's a violent fast. It yeah. is a violent fast yeah. because it screams. Super clean, dude. What are the seats? So these are SCAT Pro Car seats. I got them at OPG. This is all still stock yeah. door panel. Yeah, huh? I mean, those are probably done brand, brand new like 10 years ago. Stuff like this, I still enjoy seeing. I like seeing elements of what the car once was, you know? Mm hmm And I tried to keep the dash, you know, simple. Mm -hmm. Kind of old school gauges in a sense. So this is from Classic Dash. Okay. And those are the, those are the, these are classic instruments, mm -hmm. gauges. I had someone do the headliner because the interior was blue. Oh, really? Yeah, so I gutted it all myself. I did the original carpet myself and then like you know i did all the door panels i replaced them because they were blue i did black obviously no speakers anymore so was no able to cover that up here. no stereo i just have a giant boom box which you can barely hear and then i noticed b m shifter is it is it uh is it still same pattern or is yeah. it yeah so it's just a ratchet shifter it's the quick shilts quicksilver one okay yeah i knew this was going to be good let's let's we'll throw cameras in here and uh we're gonna go driving yeah, yeah let's do it yeah hell yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this 
sounds your car makes. Like I like the whistle I can hear from yeah. your. Yeah. The There's a blow off under. valve also, you know, so when you do hit it, you get the you get that blow off yeah, sound, which cool. is so good. It's so cool. Dude, this car is cool. This is like it's crazy. The suspension really does it's feel really good. sorted on this. Yeah. I mean it's like stiff enough. You know, it doesn't feel wishy-washy like a stock car would. No. This is like the epitome of muscle car to me. Yeah. It's not it's not pro touring, it's not like Although you can tell it probably handles pretty well. It, it handles a lot better since all these upgrades. Great transmission choice, man. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big fan of that 4L80. I had a 4L60, I kept blowing it up. Really? Yeah. Just too much power? Too much. It does that sometimes. That's why I gotta go tune it. Now is your brakes, is it manual brakes or yeah. is it boost? It is. It's manual. Yeah, 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 I thought so, which I love. Yeah. I, I, I know some people freak out on it because it takes too much pressure. Yeah. I like I like the amount of touch. I like the amount of touch that it has. Man, it really comes on when you downshift, and I mean, dude, you know how mild I'm driving. Your yeah, no, right and it's now. and it's an overdrive, you know. See, that's like the tire spinning. You don't know it's spinning. I felt it. <laughs> you want me to go this way i mean if you know hard if we got room you could just you know like yeah i could just leave it to you dude if you're cool with it yeah one burnout's bitching if if it's too hot don't do no, it no i could probably do one Dude, that's yeah. that's good gas. I don't even know if it's. It's hard to tell if it's even spinning or not. I Is know. That partly because your tires are like slicked. Yeah. Well, this has been a long time coming, and I'm stoked we finally got to shoot with Kyle and his Chevelle. I know you guys are probably thinking the same thing that I am. Badass car, super cool guy and just a great, great story to this one. I love these stories of long time ownership and garage building the vehicle down to him building his own engine. Just totally badass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. You gotta know I had a blast in it and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.